I'm not a big data at all. My recent boyfriend, my most current boyfriend, that's the first date I ever went on. Because obviously you go on dates when you're in relationships, but his was the first, like, first date that I ever did. So I'm not like a big app person. Uh, I'm really interested to know like what your experiences are like. I need to live through you and your experiences. Mm. Ladies first. Oh, oh okay, in that case then. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it depends what you're looking for. Like there are, there have been success stories where people are like, oh no, I found like my boyfriend or girlfriend of like three years on a dating site. But honestly, I feel like at the end of the day, people are still on there just to get you know, a quick one night stand most yeah, of the time. Much is just yeah, the and there are ones that are slightly worse. I would say Tinder and Plenty of Fish are like the worst <laughs> for people that are like trying to, like, oh my God. Yeah, I feel like when Tinder first came out, it's like there were a lot of success stories actually. And I think yeah. some of my friends that are still together now met on Tinder and it was oh, actually doing good. really well. But like, I think nowadays it's definitely a hookup place. Yeah. It's where you go yeah. to have a one night stand. Like people Literally. don't even try and like, Literally. You know, flower up what they're saying. Yeah, it's no, just they like don't. straight to yeah, it. Yeah, cool, done. Well, even the fact that they added the feature where like people are paying for it now, and then people are, you know, you can get the one where you Premium. can do you and a mate. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like me and you could go on it together, and then what? we would find another girl and boy who paired up, and it's like a double date feature. What? Oh, nice. Yeah, I but that for me that. makes it seem like it's more casual. Yeah. And like you're not actually looking. I for mean, a the way how things are going nowadays, everything's digital now. So I mean, with that being said, it kind of takes away from the fact of meeting people in real life. I mean, to mm. be fair, dating apps are probably not me. I mean, I feel like if I meet someone in real life, you kind of get that vibes with someone. You yeah. know what they're about. I mean, it's kind of like, I'll give you an example, when I'm texting someone on WhatsApp and a dead conversation, I mean, I'm just like, I don't know what they're talking about, this, that, you don't know <laughs> yeah. the vibe, yeah. what you're telling me. But then when you actually meet them in person, you know what they're about. People are kind of so reliant on these dating apps, they're not being people in real life and going up to people and actually doing the art, like what humans do, the art yeah. of conversing. Mm. They think, why Bob? You would not say what you say on a date now to someone in real life. 100%. No. Like, I mean, you would not say it. I mean, I've said some, you know, some things I would never even dream of saying, like, on, like, to someone in, in person. Like, yeah. It's difficult, though, because, like, gay dating is, like, a different like, story. It's completely different. Yeah. Most of it's made for this one, it's one quick shag. That's just all it is. Yeah. And, like, for some people, like, if you actually want a relationship, then you're not going to get it because the gays just want to sleep yeah. around and that sort of thing. But, like, I couldn't go up to someone, like, as a boy in a club. So I was not confident enough. But if I've got like the tits and tights on, I conquer the world. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can do what you can, but I would never go, I wouldn't do it in a straight club. Because I'm just like, you know, you can't be, you can't guess be who's sure. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. But gay club, I'm like a total whore. <laughs> I'm going to admit it, I am. I'm lethal. Have you ever had it where um, you might have like matched with someone and then you, neither of you even like end up saying hello and it's just like, we've just matched for the sake of it. Yeah. And then you see them in real life. Oh. So I was in yeah. Tesco just walking past. I was like, oh, 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 mum, um, we need to like turn. And she was like, why? And I was like, I know that guy. She's like, how? I was like, oh, we matched on Tinder. And she was just like, well, why not just go match in real life? I was like, absolutely not. Like, <laughs> who does that? What was it buying in Tesco? I don't know. I, I didn't That's stay around long enough. <laughs> yeah. Listen, how do you, like, you can tell if he was the right one if he was buying like certain products. True. Like that. so, I mean, That's, like, what kind of products would I be looking at? Well, it's like protein. I don't think we want to get protein shakes. <laughs> right, if I saw a girl yeah. I matched her Tinder and she was buying protein, I would fall in love straight away. What? Yeah, if he's buying like plastic wraps and ropes, you've got to get out of there. You're like, nah, <laughs> 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 no, it's right. transit. <laughs> but you were saying earlier, you were saying earlier, Shannon, that I mean, a lot of times. Um, oh, what are you bringing up now? No, no, you were saying like, you know, when you match, people will start off the conversation with a funny way. Like, what, what was it that the person said to you? Um, what, buffalicious? Buffalicious, what else? <laughs> oh, God. No, there's some people that like take what's already on my profile and just like use that to like mm -hmm. talk to me. So like I basically put in my bio that my spirit animal is a flamingo. But he was like, oh, um, considering your spirit animal is a flamingo, I'm guessing you're like really stuck up and sassy. So let me not expect a reply <laughs> from you. And I was like, well, I'm obviously not going to reply now, am I? Like, you literally just said that I'm not going to reply, so why yeah. should I? I've never really used dating apps properly. Like, there was a point when I was single when, like, Tinder was, like, really big and everyone had it. So I tried it out. But I found myself, like, just 
using it for a laugh. And like when I was yeah. drunk, I would just like take the mic yeah. out of people and I would just say like stupid things. Yeah. But I feel like it's kind of hard because we all know with social media, like you go on Instagram and that's not your real life. Like mm. you're putting out the best version of yourself exactly. or what you want people to think. Yeah. And I think it's the same thing with Tinder. Like everyone's going to put their best um, pictures on and you get those people in their bios being like, oh, like, I'm a dreamer, I'm a CEO slash entrepreneur and all this stuff uh, and everyone likes to gap themselves up. All right, cool. Like, I need to tell you this story, yeah. So my boy, he had Tinder. Boom, match with a girl. Literally, he showed me the pictures, all nice, yeah. Meets up with her in real life. Not her. Game over. Another story. <laughs> Game over. Have any Game of you over. ever been catfished? Yeah. Game over. Yeah. At least a couple, like, she was a bit more, uh, like, like a bit more heavy duty than in real life. Like, I mean, I'm just saying, if you're going to pit that on your thing, <laughs> yeah, I, I, you should at least be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, like, if, like, if you're going to do that... It's the angles and the lighting. Oh, yeah, you're going to go for the angles. You go for angles. Come for it. That's how I get my I know, but then he said that she was at least a good, around about, like, 20, 30 pounds more. Like, you know, 10 kg. So then if that's the case, then, you know, he, he went to meet up with her Oxford Circus. He came out the tube station. She said, she, uh, I'm across the road. He saw her, just went back into the tube. <gasps> I did that. Oh like, when God. I went on a, I went on a date, that I, this guy that I met on Plenty of Fish, or was it Badoo? I came out of the station, I think it was Shoreditch, and he was, like, in really, really tight leather trousers, and I was like, uh... Oh, no. And you just left. And he saw me, and he was like, Shannon! And I was like, don't say my name in public, like... We and don't know each other. You just went back on the train. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really sorry. Like, I've got an emergency. I've got to go. Can we call it? Do a rain oh, check. Peak, man. I can't I'm sorry, that but that, that liver trousers. You women, bro. See, yeah. for me, like, the only guys I've dated, I've met in real life. So I've never had the experience of, like, talking to Yeah, but you're pretty, though. Me. It's easy for pretty girls. No, but that's not <laughs> even it. No, do you know what? The funny thing, like, I've never had a guy come up and make a move on me. I've, I've always been the initiator. Really? Yeah, but, like, first guy, like, first boyfriend, anyway, I, like, met in my hometown. Then second one I met at uni. Third one I met at a festival. I, yeah. I remember, like, speaking to one guy, and he was like, I don't do dates. And I was like, OK, so how do you get to know someone, then? He was like, they're either my girlfriend or they're not. And I was like, OK. Man. The stage before you ask him to be your girlfriend, like, what do you do then? And he was like, like, we just, like, go to cinema. So I was like, that's a date. Yeah. He was like, no, it's not. It's just an outing. And I was like, that's a date. I met my ex-boyfriend um, through a mutual friend, so that was in real life. Then I've met other people in real life, and I'd be like, you're an absolute bore, or you're an asshole. Like, that's really disgusting, misogynistic, blah, blah, blah. And then there's been people who, on dating sites, have been, like, nice or whatever, but I guess sometimes as well... Um, you're not going to be on a dating site like 24-7 to like answer replies so then yeah. it kind of um, like you just get a bit distant. I don't I don't like it at People all. Lie. I think it's yeah, everyone's lie. Especially like my, my the gay community is yeah. ridiculous. Like not the right picture, like let's say you do this and I've not met a lot of people from like gay dating apps purely because I'm not stupid. Mm. Like we'll talk for like a good week, a week and a half, then we'll go on to like Snapchat, so it actually looks like in real life, and then maybe WhatsApp because I don't give numbers out straight away. Yeah. Because like, I ain't being yeah, followed, yeah. I ain't being, so I ain't being murdered. It's not happening. <laughs> not happening. Too much going on. But you gotta be careful though, because you people do. say who like an 80 year old man, which I complain in, he's got money, I'm there. All the way. <laughs> but though, the girls have got money. I see. I, I, include, I, I'm more interested. It's not even just about like the danger of it. It's sometimes just like more on a, a heart level, guys. Like my cousin, <laughs> she has a baby, and she put on her profile that she has got kids. And there was a guy on there that said he doesn't have kids, but he would date someone that does. Oh. And they got like about six or seven months in. He was like, "Yeah, I don't know if I can take on your child." And she was like, "Dude, like, why would you put that on your on your profile? Please be an adult about this and just tell." the truth i don't think people unless you say it in a derogatory way i don't think people are going to be offended if you just say i'm looking for sex do you know what i mean like i don't see the harm in just being transparent about yeah. what you want and that way you can yeah. then actually look for people who you know oh, okay it's fine i'm not into that but actually then you've okay cool whatever yeah. if you are looking for it then saves everything else move on yeah do you know what i mean yeah. it's like yeah. a conveyor belt <laughs> <laughs> so you think unanimously dating apps nowadays would you think i say no no, Personally. I think they they are used I'm for that torn. reason. I think what you look, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want like something casual, they're great. If you want something more like yeah. long term meaningful, it's probably not the best probably thing not. for you. Yeah. And you yeah. can't meet people. I mean, meeting people in person is obviously a lot more better. Depends where you live though yeah. as well. Like, I live in quite a small town. It's maybe the same amount of people. Like you kind of constantly be swiping through. Just come to London, babe. Well, yeah, I did, did last night, and I was like, oh my god, I was. I was like, I'm looking at him already. <laughs>